Jate Lobel, who had surged to the lead past the quarter pole, reached the half mile pole in 56 and three. Only a fifth of a second faster than run the table had reached that point in his elimination. Sticky Two Step, who had left fastest of all from his outside nine post, tucked in second right behind Jate, and riptide Lobel, who had started from the rail for Billy O'Donnell, protected his position to get a very good journey in third. Payson's brother ranges up on the outside here, but he is not going to be around for very long as Jade Lobel begins to turn on the afterburners, and you are about to witness a very special final quarter. Is still following in second, and then find the back. Riptide Lobel is third. Pulling away from the field now, Jate Lobel with every stride. He's out there by five. And then it's Sticky Two Step driving hard, and Riptide Lobel. And they're coming to the finish. Jate Lobel finishing strongly in full stride. He wins it by six or seven in 151 and three, and he did it easily. Tom oh. Durkin expressing astonishment at that last quarter of 26 and 3. Jate Lobel, the easiest kind of winner. Sticky Two Step followed him across the wire second. Riptide Lobel was third. The final two spots in the New Jersey Pacing Classic went to the fourth and fifth place finishers, Kelly Almerhurst and Beast Boy Jackson.